We are on a cruise. We are. <laughs> what is up? What is going on? What is the deal? We are back with another The Strong World video. And today I'm just going to hit you with tips and tricks I've figured out up to this point since I've been playing this game. I am still in the first week, as you can see over here, as part of the eight day login, I am on day seven collected faction crystal very important we'll go over why in just a minute here do flamingo don quixote i'm waiting for my don flamingo tomorrow all right what has happened since then as of the last video i am now level 45 and i got the fastest slow talking admiral boris alino as my avatar awesome all right so let's talk about the fleet now the fleet is really interesting and i think it adds another aspect to free to play and sort of resource management. Now, what happens here is the characters you build using the materials, the, the break crystals, the level up and the character EXP go here. So your strongest characters will be here, as you can see. Now, the lowest fleet member will affect the fleet leaders, all right? So these are the fleet leaders and these are the spots. You get one or two of these spots and then you can open these up using the tickets here. Now this front row, is 600 tickets, or if you don't have 600 tickets, you can use 600 gems. As you go below, 800 tickets, 800 gems, and I'm assuming it's even more as it gets down. And that's all right, because this is really beneficial. So as you can see, the blue indicates that I haven't personally put any materials in here. You just set them over here and they take on the level of your lowest character. Now, if you take a, a fleet character out of here, you gotta wait 24 hours before the slot becomes available again. So you can't just take out Rob Lucci and then put somebody else in. You gotta wait 24 hours. And I get it because there's so much to this game. Switching in and out heroes is effective, but doing that, I think you would sort of wash through and break all the content because you would be, you'll be super strong depending on who you built and who you put over here. Like you can really set this up to, to benefit you in, in major ways. All right, so. How else can I get these characters out of here without waiting for the 24 hour? The only other way is if I take this character that is in here and I use them as ascension materials, then the slot immediately opens up. And I don't think you have to face the 24 hour penalty. So this is very tight. This is a very, I feel, uh, free to play worthy mechanic because you can use your gems 600 or 800 gems to get slots and not have to build any more characters, I think is great. Uh, it's like, what, 2200 for a gem multi? I mean, that's that's almost three characters you can put in here at the 800 level. You could clear out your 600 real easily. All right, last time I was here, I wasn't a part of a clan. Everything was full. Shout out to my, <laughs> shout out to Bygones B. Uh, got me in a clan, so I'm part of a clan now. Let's go over there and check that out. Uh, first of all, do I think you should be in a clan? Absolutely. As part of uh, the mission rewards and mission quests, you do have to fight the clan boss to continue on that path of getting those rewards. So you definitely should be in there. And there's also uh, part of the newbie event. You have donate to clan, being in it. There's, there's a whole section dedicated to being a part of a clan. So if you see a clan that fits your requirements as far as uh, how serious they are, are they casual or whatever it is you're trying to do, Click on it, join up, and uh, and definitely add to it. But let's see what is in here and what everything uh, being in the clan has to offer. The shop, which is different from the main shop because this takes a different currency. And as you can see, there is no refresh here. You can get more items. Ooh, 2,000 weekly limit too. Like they, look, they put the weekly limit as two, meaning like they expect you to get these. So it's a lot to be offered here. And then here we have clan construction you may construct once per day right and so you want to donate this helps out the clan i'm gonna donate some loot uh all right so that was on me i made a mistake i don't know why this is here like this is so it, it, you don't get anything with this like a hundred gems is is what a three-star character would cost at the very least you would want to do this i would do this on a regular because that's just 300 gems from the dispatch and just doing the story mode and or this should easily, easily be uh be done. I I I have to say I I don't like how they set this up with the once per day. I, I feel like that that sort of messed me up here. I, I just would have donated this. I thought I could do all of them. That's on me. 
I would suggest one of these two because this is even for your own personal self. Like this is not even beneficial. Like twenty thousand loot is is it's nothing. Like why would they put here this here and only be able to do it once? All right, so <laughs> my bad, clan. I messed up on that part. But either way, uh, definitely donate these two. These just make more sense. Like you you want the coins to be able to get the the, the currency and use those. Uh, even the the exp like. Why Why wouldn't this be the base? Why Why is this the base? I don't know. We'll, we'll look into that. Or at least let me donate all of them. If I, like, Why can't I donate all of them? I, I screwed myself. My bad, y'all. <laughs> all right, let's, let's keep moving on. All right, so over here we have the clan instance. We got Iso in here who we're fighting against. He is, he is level five. The ranking rewards. Ooh, 14, seven. That's a lot of coins. And you also get some bellies there. All right, so that's four to 10. Those are the ranking rewards. Inspire, sure to cost 20 gems and activate a team damage buff. Once activated, all clan members attack plus 5% up to four times. All right, there we go. That'll make up for me not, not donating in the clan, uh, in the clan uh, uh, luxury donation. There we go. So now we all have uh, buffs. We got Burgess and Jesus in here on the same squad. I'm using Blackbeard's. I'm using Blackbeard's ship. And I just remember seeing his ship for the first time and being like, man, that's what is that? It's basically like a huge raft. I don't know. I feel like he, I felt like he could have had a better first ship. Like it, it fit them, but it could have been better. Oh, man. Ooh, the ESO stun. All right, so that was a look at that. All right, let's look at story. 46 is my current level, and I am in Rogue Town, which is interesting because the next story mission unlocks at level 47. Make sure before you collect your experience for your AFK or just being away from the game, you collect your voyage first. You want to do your dispatches. This is where you send your troops out, so make sure you get all this stuff first. And then you refresh it. All right, so make sure to send your dispatch right back out. Uh, look here, it shows you how much it costs and how much you actually have. Uh, be sure to use these. We can all just hit quick deploy. I haven't noticed any difference from say, putting another three star here, but for the sake of science, there we go. I don't think anything changed. And then this one, and you just got to go through these quick deploy. And you get everything in here. You get advanced tickets. These are for the arena and you get gems in here. And this is also why I was saying that donating to the Alliance or the clan shouldn't be a big deal, right? You get a lot of gems. I'm in the red. I don't have 2000 points. So we got to wait for these to build up before I can send them back out. So I would prioritize by whatever it is you need. If you need some more arena tickets, cause that's what you're focusing on that day. Go for that. Always pick up the basic, uh, tickets. Cause I feel like, you know, why not? A lucky summon is a lucky summon. And of course the gym. So whatever comes up in your dispatches, sometimes there's four star characters, five star character shards, all different types of stuff is throughout here. Then you come over here and I collect all of this 50 tickets. I mean, these fleet tickets seem more valuable now, huh? We claim all that and you level up. All right. So we'll let them get back to it. accrue some more XP so we can get to that next story mission. Almost there. All right, over in HQ, this is where you can ascend, retire, or reset. We've seen the reset part, but to retire, 
you can quick select and that'll do like the level twos. So if you need some more hero EXP or some break stones, this is a good place to do it. You're not going to use these guys. What are you going to do with them? Get them out of here. Get them out of here. Something to think about. It's up to you. You want to keep them in your box. Uh, yeah, build up the build up the super powerful marine or a two star pirate for greatness. Maybe I'll do that. I think I might have just inspired myself. I mean, isn't that the basis of One Piece? All right. Also, adventure mode is working your way through here, facing higher bounties. You can do tavern summons. So if your team dies, you can pick up new recruits here, hire them, you know, and they add it to your team. But I think when you do this the overall bounty of the enemies you face lowers. So, you know, uh, do what you will with that knowledge. All right. Then you go over here. You can see the total bounty who you're facing. So if you're familiar with their abilities and their skills, cause you already pulled them or you already used them, you sort of have an idea what you got up against. This is the currency. This is all the rewards you can sort of get. You can use these in the shop as well. And then you put together your squad. As you can see, <laughs> my team is dead. I was fighting a very tough bounty and I got wiped. So, all right, so that's, that's correct. If you, if you hire in the tavern, the bounty drops and you start here. Uh, looks like the rewards is decreased by like 25 and the overall total bounty here yeah, by like 20,000. All right, so we got enough for a team. Let's do a run. We got the going merry in the background. Nightmare Luffy. Speaking of which, man, just I, I think the possibilities of who they're gonna put in this game, like, like I, you don't know. Like this, Crocus is in here. Crocus is in here. Nightmare Luffy. Wano Zoro, Thriller Bark Zoro. I'm looking at Fuji Tora, right? And then I'm looking at pre pre uh time skip Blackbeard. <laughs> so I'm like, what version and who are they gonna add in here at one point in time? It's so it's it's really interesting. All right, so got our rewards, Tony, Tony Chopper, and then you get to pick a buff. Now, the buffs last until your next pick. And as you can see on the right here, the bounty clicked back up to 85K and over here on the left. So if I choose the left, I'll go back through and have a chance of getting a tavern or, or getting a healing buff from Boa Hancock. And there's also a... Uh, Surely, the this the uh, the madam the <laughs> the crystal bar you know who I'm talking about the shark she's in here as well and, and you get all different types of buffs so adventure mode is really cool and it's uh, got its own shop it's a lot going on here all right so we're gonna head over to the lucky wheel check that out do some summons and then probably get up out of here uh, remember to like and subscribe the video because it helps me. Uh, just sort of know where to spend my time. I have so much time to make these videos. So I'd like to know if someone is interested in them, then I'd, I'd keep doing them. Uh, and also let me know what teams y'all are running, what ships y'all are running. Uh, let me know in the comments below. All right, y'all. I'm out. Peace. All right. So here we are at the lucky wheel. Basically, uh, a hunt is one random item from the wheel. So 15 hunt is 12 tokens and that gets you 15 items, right? And this will get you one. I'm gonna go ahead and do the 15 let's see what we get all right so you got some you got some oh we got four tickets it's not bad almost a multi and some loot and we have oh just enough for one more and we landed on the tickets again so now we i'm pretty sure we got yeah here we got a multi now oh we got a multi hopefully we get lucky maybe we'll get our five star from there i've seen uh gold weapon on here i've seen five star characters of specific factions on 
30 shards of another. It's a lot of good stuff on here. And then you also accrue these rewards here, which is pretty nice advance. I'm gonna save up till I get the full 10 and then do one of those because there's some good stuff here. But this is a look at the advance wheel. This is where I've seen it. This, uh, look at this. This is pretty good. These Jolly Roger tokens, you use these for your ship. Like, man. Oh, we got a Lucci on a single. We got a Lucci on a single. Incredible. All right, let's do 10 here. Oh, we got another gold. This is nuts. There it is. Oh, it's a Moria. I got like three of him, but we, we can use the dupes and or we can switch them in the faction switch. That's why the faction switch is pretty dope. I only need to have some books. All right, Chopper. Ooh, Chopper. All right, all right, not bad. All right, we got nine attempts on a basic summon. Let's see if we can pull a five star out of these nine because there's actually a mission to do so. So it must be sort of possible. Let's go in and see what we get. All right, we got at least a, a purple. There it is. Tashigi. Right, another purple. That, that comment was larger. Hey, Zorro. Yeah. Gold, baby. We did it. Five star. Give it to me. Something new. Something new, <laughs> Sir Crocodile. I believe we we also have shards in the. We have shards of him in the in in the box that I didn't use yet. So now we have two crocodiles. So we pulled him. We pulled him. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> All right, got crocodile. All right, last one. Looks like nothing to write home about. Uh, we did get a Mr. Three, so hopefully we can we can we can put him up and level him up. 